What's up YouTube, my name is John Bromit and welcome to a review, which wasn't my intention for this channel. The plan isn't to make this a review channel, but because I'm trying to better my look and environment for these videos on YouTube and on Skillshare, I'm always trying to improve things. So I have this kind of two point light set up, one right here to my right, one barely to my left just behind the camera. But I need something back there. It's not, it's kind of looking boring back there. I was looking into aperture lights, which everybody seems to love. But they're about $100 and I didn't know if they'd make a difference. So instead, I found a new product. This right here, which is a Mercury Innovations Smart Wi-Fi LED strip. And it was only $30 compared to the Philips one, which I think was about $100 and that's Canadian. So we're gonna test that, see how it works. All right, so I wanna make this quick, so I'm not gonna bother with the whole unboxing concept. Once you open this up, you get a piece of plastic. You wouldn't believe it. So it comes with instructions. It comes with more plastic with the LED bar and that is plugged into this. There is a little button here. I don't know if that's just an on and off as I haven't had the instructions. And just some screws in case you actually wanna screw them in, but it also comes with some extra 3M tape. So uh, the idea for me anyway, is to wire it up behind all of this so that it gets the background lighting up nicely. It's gonna throw some light up behind both monitors and behind the desk and hopefully just kind of give me that nice backlighting that I want. So I'll hook it up now and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're done, it's installed. It was really easy. Now you may notice it's not super obvious right now. Well, that is for a few reasons. I have not only these two lights, I have a light behind it and I have the ceiling light on. So let's turn that light off first. All right, it's subtle, but it's cool. So let's just take a look here at our phone. And I have, I think it's Genie, is that what it is? Anyway, the app that comes with it, you just download it, it tells you it's pretty easy. You hook it up, I go here, and now I can play with some of these settings. So right now I have it on about a teal color. I can make it red, you know, orangey, green, pink, and so on. And so if I put it back to that teal color, I can mess with the brightness. So that's all the way up. That's down real low. That's about 50%. And that's cranked. And then I can also play with the saturation. So right now, obviously I have this kind of teal color and I can turn it all the way to white so it looks nice and bright. And then from there, of course, that's at 50% and that's at 1% brightness. So it gives you a little bit of different mood to play with. All right, so with that set up, I was looking some more in the app and we also have a white. So you can get yourself from white to warm white. So this is the brightness right now. So that's again at 1%, but we're at white now. And we can go to color temp, so that's blue. And we get a nice warm color right there. So that's pretty cool. I like it ice cold. And I think I'm gonna go back to my blue color for now. There's also the option to schedule it so that you can have it turn on at certain times automatically. So that's pretty awesome, man. It's nice to be able to just do it with the app. Now there is another thing on the side, that little button, if I press it, it'll change the color. Take a look. This one's like, if you want to have a dance party. So some more of the features that we have on top of the white, we also have scene, if you want to get real crazy. So you can go with nature which kind of has this pulsating green color thing happening. It's a slow pulsating, see that? Oh, so calming. You got rave, you know, in case you want to party. We've got rainbow. Oh yeah, things are getting crazy. Okay, so obviously that's gonna take some experimenting to see what I think looks coolest. But I like this just giving me a little more light, something more to play with. It might be cool to add it around my monitor, you know, add it up there, but for 30 bucks, it's hard to complain. It just adds a little bit of flavor, makes your office look a little bit cooler. So, so far I like it. Obviously it's only been on for minutes. Hopefully it lasts long term, but the app's looking pretty cool and it should be pretty convenient for 30 bucks. 30 bucks, man. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Again, no plans to make a review, but I figured if I'm gonna kind of improve my look, then I may as well take you along for the ride. If you like this, let me know. and Maybe I'll do some more reviews. If you didn't like it, let me know, but don't give me a thumbs down, even though I'm making a thumbs down symbol, that's mean. Just comment like, hey, I'd rather see tutorials. Or hey, I'd rather see mountain bike videos or whatever your other channel is. Okay, bye.